Well, as, as we've mentioned before, our mission at LSI is to inspire and educate the next generation to travel beyond our solar system and to research and develop enabling technologies. So a key element of what we're involved in is motivating people, motivating young folks. And oftentimes we get motivated uh, by them. Uh, we received a letter from a young man named Jacob Rodriguez uh, uh, from Orange County, California, who uh, then went on to MIT. And uh, Jacob and I have been corresponding for quite some time uh, over, uh, over the last year, actually a little over the last year. And, he's, and Jacob sent us uh, a really nice letter that kind of cuts to the core of what we're about at LSI. So without uh, further ado, let me introduce Jacob and for Jacob to tell his story and, and, and share with us the letter that he sent uh, LSI. Jacob? Well, as you mentioned, my name is Jacob Rodriguez and I'm a rising sophomore at MIT, double majoring in aerospace engineering and physics with concentrations in advanced propulsion and robotics. So it kind of works perfectly. But about this letter, it was a time when I was going into my freshman year at MIT and I was very excited to get involved in everything that I thought wasn't possible literally a couple months before. When I got my acceptance, when I submitted my application, it was life changing for me given I came from a situation where it wasn't possible for a majority of the students in my own high school, a majority of the kids in my own county. So the reason why I sent this letter was to see if maybe I can get the chance to finally work on the things I wanted to and be connected to the amazing engineers, the amazing people that were part of what I learned from Limitless Space. It started with searching for Sunny White, given I've read all of his papers, and it led me here to the point where I was confronted with a text box to enter what I believe as an application for an internship. So without further ado, this is the letter I wrote after my senior year of high school and the tail end of that. So it is from that perspective. So let me read the letter. Hello, Limitless Space Institute. My name is Jacob Rodriguez, and I'm a current senior from Orange County, California, who is committed to MIT, playing a double major in astronautical engineering and physics with an emphasis on, you guessed it, advanced space propulsion. Having a huge interest in physics, rockets, and astronomy, I have always looked to the stars. Although I was a first generation college student and came from a low income family, I was always convinced that certain careers were not meant for a Hispanic student like me. However, instead of mourning in my circumstances and complaining about my hardships, I made it my goal to do whatever I needed to do to succeed. Growing up with a mother who suffered from bipolar depression, I was constantly given multiple reasons to give up entirely. I was spending my nights taking care of two young toddlers, caring for my mother, and spent every year supporting my family since I was 12. For I knew I had an insurmountable amount of excuses Yet I chose not to let them stop me. I biked to every single robotics meeting because we never had the money for gas, becoming president and the mechanical and software lead after two years. I took night classes at the local community college in astronomy and advanced math to satisfy my interests in what existed beyond the atmosphere. Black holes, space time, quantum physics, dark matter, anything, I loved all of it. And since I had a love for rockets, yet didn't have the money to buy them, I made my own out of potassium nitrate and sugar to launch in my own local riverbed. And I'm currently working on building my own ion engine out of nails and copper pipe. For even though I had all reason not to reach my goals, I did because nothing was gonna stop me from going to space and nothing was gonna stop me from reaching the suns. With my love for astronautical engineering and physics really starting to develop in high school, I found a passion for quantum gravity, quantum chromodynamics, but more specifically advanced methods of propulsion. So, I started researching. I took the time to speak with professors at Amherst College to discuss the faith of the theory of everything. I read the books by Carla Rovelli and Roger Penrose to unlock the secrets of the universe. And I read all of Dr. White's research papers on Warp Mechanics 101, where he gives a scientific and thorough analysis of the possibilities of the Alcubierre work that I've entered. Once I read that, and once I saw every single video about next-gen propulsion systems YouTube had to offer, and it was exactly what I wanted to do. Humans deserve to explore beyond the solar system. And the only way that can happen is if we abandon our current methods of chemical propulsion and advance our study into newer groundbreaking technologies like the one Dr. White's Eagle Works Laboratory was founded upon. But once I found out that a NASA lab 
was created for the sole purpose of exploring these type of technologies, I knew that was exactly what I wanted to do and even mentioned this as my primary goal in my winning medicine scholarship. Intern. So that's why I want to be a limitless space intern. Dr. Harold White was my inspiration and the fact that he left his Eagle Works lab to join Limitless means your organization is going to do great things I definitely want to be a part of. Since I know I will just be a college freshman, I want to reassure you, I will study as many books as I need to, contribute as much as possible to what you're doing. I'll do whatever I need to in order to be a part of the movement the company is about to start. Having a 4.9 GPA, being a great scholar, and being the recipient of one of the most prestigious robotics awards in the world, I really hope you view me as a qualified candidate because I will be honored to work for a company as good as yours. So even if I don't get an internship position on your team, all I ask is for a chance to speak with someone in your company to learn what you all are gonna to contribute to next generation space exploration. Because just based on what I've seen so far, it's gonna be pretty freaking awesome. Thank you.